Personally, I think Judas was obsessed with money. I think he became bitter because of how the money was spent. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed his feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Then saith one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bare what was put therein. These are God's words. God inspired this. God knew this. He didn't really actually care about the poor. He cared about the money. I think he was a bitter man and he let that bitterness get to him. You know, friends, bitterness seeps into our lives. It seeps into our lives without us even really knowing it. And even the most bitter person will say, Oh, but I'm really not all that bitter. Or I don't have a bitterness problem. I don't know how many of you in this room have had something happen to you where you just are, are just stewing about it. And you stew about it. And you're just angry with the person. And you just become so absorbed with this idea that I am mad at this person. Lest any root of bitterness spring up and trouble you. Your bitterness isn't troubling them. They forgot about it. You see, we go to bed with our thoughts at night and we think about how many people have, have done us wrong. You know? How many people that we just wish we could give a piece of our mind to. You see, the bitterness isn't destroying them. It's not troubling them, it's troubling you. He went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Bitterness drove Judas to seek revenge. How could somebody actually seek revenge upon the Lord? He was so bitter. He went to the chief priest and says, Well, just give, just, just throw a number out there. Just give me a number, any number will do. Anything to betray. I am so mad, I will take anything. How does 30 pieces of silver sound to you, Judas? Oh, 30 pieces of silver, sounds good to me. I might as well betray him for 30. I would do it for 29. 30 pieces of silver. You know what 30 pieces of silver looks like? Right here. That's 30 pieces of silver. This is what the Lord was worth. He was worth 30 pieces of silver. This is what God is worth to Judas. You see, Judas's heart was, was not there. It was here. This is what, what led him to his decision. He betrayed the Lord because he was more concerned about the money. He was bitter because of how the money was being spent. Now, it's interesting because we say to ourselves, well, we could never do that. We could never deny the Lord like Peter did. We could never forsake the Lord like some did. And we certainly would never, ever sell the Lord. But I can tell you this, friends, that we sell the Lord off for a whole lot less than $600. We sell the Lord off for for a, a television show, or a sports game, or, a, or we sell the Lord for uh, maybe something we, we, we see on, uh, on, on, on TV, some nasty thing, or, or some music we listen to. We sell the Lord for a whole less than this. And who could have ever thought that somebody could sell the Lord for, for $600? Bitterness will take you farther than you want to go in the wrong direction.
And if we want to go in the right direction, if we want to grow this year, if we want to have a successful life, and if we want to feel successful, we can't have this burden of bitterness. We can't have the burden of bitterness in our life. <laughs>